Hello, Internet, and welcome back to the Catholic D&D campaign, The Belly of the Forest. When last we left the Motley crew, they had uh, they had gone on a bit of a shopping spree to ascertain certain magical items to aid themselves in the battles yet to come. Um, they found out that the majority of magic item shops had been ransacked. What was thought to be a fiend... Excursion from Rykar turned out to just be hordes of undead. Granny had a vision detailing a very bad outcome for all of the country of Verde, if not the entire nation of SM itself. And uh, Nico discovered that his nephew Akron uh, had been kidnapped by a drow woman who he, you assume to be the necromancer. And last we left, you guys were all heading into the forest. Is there anything you guys want to discuss while you're heading into the forest? Uh, I would like to ask uh, for a general consensus on what uh what are we are likely to on what were uh the it means to have uh gotten rid of the emperor because we've done that but what are we doing now like i'm unclear as to what we what the first one means and why what this one has to do with the other like, uh, Winkhelm is unclear. Like, he's like, we did the one, and did, what, how did these, what, cause he's, he's trying to figure out how they, did the, did the emperors all lead to this? Did we stop, did, was he holding back a disaster? Did we do something wrong of some sort to, Get rid by getting rid of him. Like, did he hold back the, these uh, themes? What, what, so, like, he he was trying to figure out what is happening. The rest of the party can weigh in. Don't you remember about Heliana and the town being ransacked by demons and the DAMS being yes. accused? Yes, I am aware that the town was ransacked, which happened immediately after. Yes. The Emperor was was overthrown. What I am asking is, was that the cause? Mm. Was did we did our overthrowing the emperor cause the uh, Heliana to attack and the demons to come? Was he holding them back? I don't think so. I think Heliana, knowing her, was just waiting for a good opportunity. And once we slain him, well, that was the opportunity for them to come. The Emperor, I don't think, had anything to do with this. He was just an evil, corrupted man who had his own motive goals in the matter. So, I, again, I, he was bad. He was on his own thing. We took care of him. But then, ha sorry, get screaming. Uh, but then, hang on. But then Heliana came and sprang. Heliana and whoever is in charge over there decided that there is a gap in power. They're going to take over now. Which they've been wanting for a while. Knowing her. Hmm. I don't think the Emperor had anything to do with this. I don't think he was protecting us in any way. Can I hand Wincombe a tinfoil hat and just say, not all crime is related. Now, there's multiple incidents of different people. I'm just... I'm just worried that... I just was worried that uh, the effect of doing something good in one area caused something bad in another, and... Uh, that we should, that if we're going to do something good here, we sh should be 
concerned that we something else might happen as a result that uh, uh, with if we do something with uh, Heliana or the uh, or who, who, uh, the uh, Revenancer that something more might happen uh, just as a uh, further effect or oh, once they're out of the way. I'm just worried about that. As you continue walking, um, let's see, Nico, Kyle, and, um, and Granny, you three get two very distinct smells hitting your nose. The first smell is rotted flesh. And the second smell is an overwhelming scent of, like, sulfur, noxious gas. The sulfur is much stronger than the scent of rotting flesh, but you do get those two in kind of conjunction with each other as you're entering deeper into the forest. Kyle is going to light up a cigar. <laughs> does to help dull the smell, but does, does the sulfur in here, does it, like, ignite at all or does it just kind of like it's just the smell of sulfur um the sulfur it's weird the smell seems to be lingering in the air but it's not like an active it's not like actively moving you do seem to be getting closer to the source of the sulfur though okay yeah yeah kyle will definitely light up a cigar and kind of just blow smoke in in front of him as he walks through it just so he gets the pleasant aroma of tobacco. All right. And he's going to pull out. For once, for once, the whole party sees Kyle pulls out his shield and actually equips his shield. Okay. Good Hold on. Now. I'm, I'm, uh, I'll be right back. My frame is crashing. Yeah. Keep going. I can talk, but I can't do. Gotcha. Um, as you journey deeper into the forest, something stops you in your tracks. You come across two medium-sized stone statues. Nico, you recognize them right away. These statues are of Daphir and his wife, Elmira. He got his wife too. Oh, good golly! Just... Brian, with your knowledge of Arcana, you and Winkhelm um, kind of look around, and you realize that these two elves are victims of what's known as a basilisk bomb—a petrification bomb that would turn anyone who stepped on it into stone. So that's why the stone statues are here. Y'all be careful walking around. We're in a minefield. I believe it's a minefield or something back in my town. We like to call snake boobs. They they turn people into giant rocks, as you can see before you. Is there any way to undo this? Um, well, Granny, Granny, you would know the only the only, the only the only thing the only thing to undo that would be like a greater restoration spell. think it is wise to burn a spell right now I as much as I want to free my brother I think it would be prudent to either we get out of here if this is why we came we get out of here right now just cure him and get out but if that thing is around okay all I'm saying is I have it prepped I can do it so whenever we take care of things we can free them it'll be fire their statues it's not like they're going anywhere Going nowhere. Make like a little moss on it, but like, we can just clean that off. That ain't no big deal. Oh my gosh. And like, what happens if we free them and then they happen to step in another one? I'm just being realistic. You guys, 
you guys can definitely try and survey the area for other bombs if you'd like. Perception check. Perception check. What? 17. Uh, Working on it. Uh, uh, I'm going to take out something that Brian calls a metal detector, but it's really just a <laughs> stick. <laughs> you just like tap it on and like, don't worry now, this is a magical stick. It senses explosions. Uh huh. And after a while, and after and after a while, nothing happens, and you just hear Brian going beep, 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 just trying to cheer himself up because the stick does nothing. Yeah, Brian. Brian the, the, you just see you do see Brian the Potter roller like, wait a minute, maybe it's only whenever they happen, not whenever. I gotta remember what this stick does. Um, you do not sense. Any other uh, basilisk bombs, Nika? With your perception, you piece together that the bomb that turned your brother and his wife to stone was specifically planted in there for them. The Revenanter was expecting your brother to look, to chase after his son. Interesting. This was a trap. They knew he was coming this way. Um, you remember, well, actually, you didn't have the dream. Nico did. Um, I might need a refresher, too. <laughs> Nico, you, you saw Akron in kind of this large red gem um, that appears to be in the process of being used for some sort of um, blood magic ritual. They were going to try and drain the blood from Akron and use that to release the blood lord from Why Rykar. Why him specifically? Because uh, he's an innocent boy. Ahead. You can go ahead and you can go ahead and make a religion check, Granny. It's going to be a bit tough, Nico. but you can go ahead and make a religion check. Yeah, can I make an arcana check? Um, sure, because this is about magic, too. Sure, go ahead. I got a 27. Holy... Oh. Crap. Okay. Seventeen. Um, yeah. So seventeen isn't high enough, but twenty-seven is. I don't yeah, know just... how. I don't know how Granny would know this, but um, She's in order to, old. in order to release the blood. She paid attention in theology class. <laughs> in order to release the blood lord, they would need um. A sacrifice from a young victim, a middle-aged victim, and an elderly victim. Akron was chosen as the young victim. Granny, I think that we need to be very careful of you. <laughs> an elderly victim. <laughs> uh, I, I walked into a trap. <laughs> well, let's just not lose. Just, just <clears throat> get the good. You survived this long. I, I say I am pretty good, child. Nico goes up to his frozen brother and says, Don't worry. We're going to get him back. We'll be right back. We'll, we'll, I mean, we'll like a... on the way out. <laughs> it's just like, I mean, do you have like a wagon we can put him in or something? I don't have nothing. I just say we leave him here. We know where they're at. You can't, you can't whip up a wagon? I thought you were good at building stuff. You know what? That's a good idea, Dan. Can I build a wagon? Um... <laughs> can I use the trees to me and build a wagon? <laughs> I don't think we got time for him to build a wagon unless he could just summonly, magically build it with magic. I might be able to make it. Hold on. Isn't that Artificer's whole thing? Yeah, just not fast. Yeah, not fast. He can't yeah, just go fast. magic uh, bippity boppity the... boop yes. wagon. Yes, and you would be chopping down trees, alerting whatever might be waiting for you to your presence. I you know what? I have an idea. Hear me out. I just tie them to the cannon and we drag the statues. <laughs> oh my gosh, no. That's you know what? The shot. You know what? That actually might work. <laughs> Go for it, Ryan. Well, Why? all right. Why not just leave them here? <laughs> leave them here, please. 
Well, I'll then you got something to mark this spot? I don't. I ran out of flags last week. I'm too busy marking nice spots. I mean, someone you guys with high intelligence could probably just remember where they are. Intelligence is a thing. I am extremely good at directions. Ask Bryce. <laughs> Sure. Uh, Zach, it's like the moon in Avatar. That is a good idea, but we're going to keep trying. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> that's a good backup. Uh, we're we're going to keep trying, but that is a good backup. Granny, you and Nico, since you two have the highest passive perception, you both notice that, like, the majority of the plant life around you is just dead. Like, there are no flowers. The trees are just looking very sickly. All of nature around you is just dead or Ooh. dying. Nico's a city boy, so he doesn't he doesn't care that much. He's just a little unnerved. Shall we continue going? I pick on? up a dead flower and smell it. Okay, you pick up a dead flower and smell it. It smells like death. It's ah, smell just like the flowers that I used to smell back home. <laughs> I'm just gonna toss it to the side. Brian, you are one weird little man. What? Do the do the flowers back up here not normally smell like corpses? I'll be real, I don't really remember, but most of the ones down there do. No, that's Granted, not what... they gr they mostly grow on corpses, so that's... that might be why. But that's not what flowers are supposed to smell like, sir. No? Sir, Brian, I, I, I hate to say this, but I think you need to touch some grass. I, what this tells me is that this place, this reeks of necromancy. And if you are unable to tell the difference between necromancy and normalcy, so you need to... Welcome. Uh, He's nothing normal. And that is correct, and he needs to fix that. Why? Fine. I'm whoa, whoa, whoa. Why Most does he need to fix that? Most flowers are growing corpses. He, he, he's special the way he is. Why does he need to fix himself? So, while we're yeah, talking I'm about functions. things, while we're talking about things that are not immediately relevant, are you looking for employment, Bryce or yeah. Brian? Well, I mean, kind of. I've just been following you guys around. I don't really have much else to do. I don't think I'm really allowed back home anymore. Because uh, if I know anything about the North, I'd probably burn down my shop. So, Your mother said you were, Brian. <laughs> no, he went like, back in the Underdark. Oh, yes. Nah, yeah, you I mean, I can go back to the like... Orc. <laughs> yeah, he's like, I mean, I can go back to the Orc village. But I don't know. I'm not really much of a plunderer, you see. I, I like building things. I'm much more of like a shopkeeper. And... I have a place for you, but for now we should keep moving. Try and find uh, my brother's yes. son. And I will say this, my nephew, knowing Heliana, we need to be at least somewhat quiet on our way approaching. We don't need to be talking our heads off and approaching. Oh, I'm the most quiet one here. Don't you worry. See, Cannon, we gotta be stealth mode, okay? You, you might just hear the cannon some... just clank. <laughs> hey, you might want to put some booties on your cannon. He is wearing booties. See, look, the rubber. Squeak, 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 squeak. If you guys are going in stealthy, I'm gonna need I'm gonna need stealth checks from everybody. <laughs> oh lord. Oh, don't tell me. Okay. Stealth. Ooh, I almost rolled on that one. <laughs> hey, there we go, Brian. That's what I like to see. I mean, we're gonna be fighting this dumb necromancer no matter what. So let's go. Oh dear, I almost rolled on that one too. I was rolling at this advantage because he's having heavy arm. He has a lot of armor on him. Okay, why am I rolling at this advantage? You're such a nerd for remembering that. I don't. I don't know why you're rolling at disadvantage, Granny. You shouldn't be. Uh. Also, also, why did it say I'm prone? You can just change that real quick. Yeah, you can. Oh wait, are we all prone right now? Are we all prone. <laughs> Wait, are we? We don't have we don't have tokens on the board. How are we prone? Hold on, let me. Oh, wait, no, I'm, I'm wearing switch. heavy armor. If I'm wearing heavy armor, then I would have disadvantage. Why? Am I even wearing armor? Hold on. No. <laughs> I thought I thought I you were wearing like a suit. Like you're like wearing like a suit. 
Uh, I think I just put it down as like I leather. Have, I guess I have stamina. I didn't know I had stamina. Okay, I should be leather. Oh, I'm yeah, I'm all. At all. I also have scale mail. It's okay. I'm just counting the scale mail. It's just, it's just the, it's just the cannon. The cannon doesn't know how to be quiet. Conclusively, the party is not stealthy at all. No. No. Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll make roll because I have, I, I just got back in. Oh yeah, no, I'm wearing half plate. Her, her bones are creaking loudly. <laughs> Every single step is just another snap. <laughs> yep. Hey, and yes, me for real, for real. And as you guys enter deeper into the forest, um, you see some creatures in front of you. Um, you see what appear to be... Let me see. One, two, three. You see five elvish zombies. Hmm. As well as a hulking uh, black mass. It basically looks like a giant, but it's all black, and it has two blinking blue eyes with just no pupil. Mm. I see Heliana has gotten, has done some work here. The 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 hulking black mass uh, turns to you, Kyle, and and it goes. I told you I'd be back. Heliana? Oh. Wow, you really let yourself go. <laughs> I thought she got some work done. Yes, she got, she got no comeback from that. <laughs> yes, Falster, you have your hand raised. No, I didn't. I, that was incorrect. That was oh, uh, just a oh, okay. In the, yeah. in the error. Um, and with that, let me pop open, activate the scene here. Perfect. So, what did I miss? Um, Heliana appeared, but uh, she's a black. Uh, weird, she's a disgusting. she's a muck now. She's a muck. And she's yeah, got some disgusting. zombies with her. And she's a I, what? And a I need. Everyone, come on to roll. Yeah. Hey, uh, Adam, why are there two of Kyle? I mean, I, I, mm, two Kyles. You, you can duplicate yourself now. Don't worry about it. Because Adam wants to lose this combat. Um, where's the second? Where, where's the second Kyle? There's one there, and there's one there. I put Kyle. What? Okay, I can't move any. Oh, we're in combat. Yeah, there's one here, and there's one here. Okay, is there a way for you to look for the one here and delete it at all, or no? Oh gosh, hang on a second. Something's weird going on here. Uh, I don't think I can delete. I have so much also, is everything supposed to be black and white? Uh-oh. Uh, yep. Hang on, I think I'm still... Am I still loading in? Yeah, everything's black and white for me. Oh, mine just loaded. Oh, it is black and yeah, white. Everything... Everything is black and white. Do you know why? Because you have a vision, and it is dark in this forest. Am I going that it isn't in black and white? Okay, so I have full game, color. Yeah, I can't control any one of these. I mean, I could open up my spreadsheet. That's weird. Um, I see. Yeah, I don't see the photos. Oh, because you. Oh, okay. Well, then let me roll initiative. Oh yeah, I rolled both of me. There's two of me in, in initiative. Wait, there's a Kyle and a Kyle bond the bar. I don't know why there's. Oh, fantastic! Yeah, let me. Give me, give me the one that had a row nat twenty. Let me be at the. <laughs> hold on, you, you hold on, you don't. So. Ah, I can't see. Okay, yeah, Imagine you deleted my token decks. there. Oh, the... my uh... my dex isn't even that low. I just can't roll high. Skill issue. No, my luck with anything that is digital is honestly terrible. Like online, I rarely ever roll higher than like a, a thirteen. Nah, I can I can see. It's actually so bad. <laughs> my my attack rolls have been like pretty average, but my damage rolls have been consistently high this campaign. Nah, uh, it's just me and digital okay. dice. Digital dice just have a vendetta against me, and I don't know what I did. 
Okay, I, th I probably broke there. one at some point. Are the Imperial Ghouls not supposed to have a photo of them at all? So, they're supposed to, but Foundry messed up and they don't. So oh, no. That's what... Oh, no. Yeah, wait. they're basically zombie... They're basically zombie elves in breastplate armor. Oh, lovely. So, um... Okay, and... Oh, that's weird. Right. I couldn't move at all. Interesting. Huh. Well, let's we'll see if this works. So this guy... So this guy... Oh, and I should mention Heliana's floating 15 feet in the air right now. So where is she? Oh, I thought she was a pile of sludge. She's right here. Okay. Oh, I can't hmm. see it. um, dark. Oh, this is cool. Neato. Yeah. Wait. I can make fire. I could just cast fireball and nothing. I could just set the, the forest on fire. Okay, so this guy... Fire does create light. Yeah. <laughs> Might create a hazard, but that's okay. Let me go ahead and... Move up 30 feet. He's going to dash and kind of get in the middle there of some of you. And that is the end of his turn because he moved, used his movement to dash. All right. Wait, where this is school. Heliana and in the initiative? That's her. Oh, that's her. The Night Nightwalker is considered an undead. You would know that. Is that is that her? The Nightwalker is her, yes. Okay. And this Imperial Ghoul is going to go ahead and multi-attack at Kyle. Hold up, hold up, hold up. So Kyle has his, his shield out now. So he has a 21 AC. Yep. yep. I have so many. That's ones. a crit. I should check. Oh, my um, yeah, the dice aren't. There is a thing a long time to load. Okay. Yeah, everything's very slow. Oh, uh, buddy boy. Someone saying someone said silvery barbs. Yep. Okay. So he will silvery barbs that bite attack. Eighteen misses. Is claw eighteen misses. All right, so that is the end of that guy's turn. Kyle, you're up. What you doing? Oh, righty, dighty, boys and girls. We all know what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna go into a ragey fit because he just sees his ugly girlfriend or ugly ex-girlfriend. Yay. Anyway. Ugly ex-girlfriend turned into an undead monster. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, he sees this. So I have my shield currently equipped, so I can't use any of my two-handed weapons. I will need to do a longsword. Yep. Um, screw Price it. Let's go it. ahead and do a reckless attack. Okay. Pull two hits. Nice. So he's doing one-handed. Watch out! And then he is going Nine to points. Okay. proceed to do a maneuver on him. He's going to attempt to. What? What is the... these guys are just ghouls with hands, right? These guys are basically ghouls with breastplate armor. That's the okay. only thing that's different. He is going to go and trip attack him. Oh, I'm so dumb. I could have actually just made a wagon. I forgot I have fabricate now. <laughs> oh, of course he passed. Okay. As Kyle's second attack, he's going to reckless again. That hit. Oh, and don't forget to add on that 1d8 damage as well from the first die. Yep. Um, Actually, I could just do so this. that is 11. 
So let's see, 15, um, 24 damage total, I think, he took, which you already did this, um, yeah. Yep, yep, I'm doing, the, I, I've got the damage calculated, so yep. we're good. 24 damage total. And Anything else? I Kyle. am going to save my maneuvers because I have a feeling I'm going to need them. So yes, I am my turn. Okay. All right. You end your turn. This one is going to go ahead and uh, fire a crossbow bolt. Uh, he's going to go ahead and fire crossbow bullets at Kyle. Oh, he's got. That's right, you're reckless thing, so he has advantage. So I'll re-roll that. Oh dear. And doesn't make a difference. That six does nothing. Alright. Aha, shield for the win. <laughs> that is the end of the turn. Nico, you're up. That's me throwing off. Um, the first one I want to do is for bonus action. Equip my Eldritch Claw. Okay. Oh, I thought you were going to rage. <laughs> so I got, let's see. Oh, man, barely injured. Yeah, they're tough boys. Kind of scary, actually. Let's see. <clears throat> what is Elemental Strike? Elemental Strike, all that does, you just do a normal unarmed strike, um, but you change um, the damage type. That's all it does. Yeah. And remember, you can use Elemental Burst to do like a mini fireball. If the um, enemy were remotely grouped up, yeah. And 3d10 instead of what, 8d6? Right, It's definitely yes. a mini fireball. Yes. No, I'm, I'm just going to punch a guy. All right, go for it. Sometimes that's, that's just how it's got to be. I can't rage yet. Nope. But I can still oh, get oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Which one are you attacking, the one in front of you or the one by Kyle? The one in front of me. Okay. Okay. So that, that doubles the base die only, right? No, yes. that's... Uh... Oh, it doesn't double all the dice. Um. Oh no, it it doubles all the dice. That's two d six instead of one d six, and then doubles your okay. martial art die. So. Okay, manually rolling it. There it is. That's a lot of damage. Ah, oh, that's a sad roll. That was a that was a low roll. I mean, it is a low roll, but it's still a lot of damage. Oh, I nearly got a second crit. It's 23 hits. 23 hits. There we go. 18 so and 12 12, damage. 12, and what was the damage on the first? 18. 18. So that's what, 30 total? Yeah. Right. And that is all right. I can do. Out of okay. boy. Oh, by the way, if all this is happening, you oh uh, the uh, there's a oh uh, Granny's voice is coming out by talking doll, uh, saying a uh, 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 prayer against undead. Well, unfortunately, they're not 
intelligent enough to register what the frick the doll is talking about. So, <laughs> actually, they are. They, now that I'm double checking the stat block, yeah, they they would they would definitely they would definitely they definitely be like that doesn't sound good. But they were told to keep fighting anyway. So, Heliana's Bryce, turn. Bryce, I randomly remembered the meme today of the one of the ASDF ones. Versus, that's my boy. No, my boy. Yes. Father, help. <laughs> okay, Kyle, I need you to give me a wisdom save. Oh dear. Because the DC is outrageously high, I just want you to roll me a d20. Uh, don't add anything. Just, just, just roll me a d20. <laughs> it's not twenty or bust. All right. So you are now um why can't i oh i forgot to do stunning strike hmm can't whoopsie dizzy um yeah so you are frightened so you can go ahead and add the frightened condition on yourself. Okay. Go up, go up to conditions, add the frightened condition. Uh, who am I frightened of? You're frightened of Heliana. She used finger of doom. Okay. So you're scared you're of a very specific finger. You're, you're frightened and you are also paralyzed until the end of Heliana's next turn. Great. So that means um, you cannot move, you cannot act, and your rage shuts off. So, so your rage is gone until the end of Heliana's next turn. All right, I I gotta step away real fast. I gotta go. Oh. He's not inca. It is is paralyzing incapacitated. Yes, he's incapacitated as well. Paralyzed, incapacitated, and frightened. So ah. yep. Conditions. Yes. Incapacitated. Paralyzed. And his rage shuts off. Okay. Oh, and I gave the silvery barbs uh, to uh, Granny. Okay. They have hands for so That was what I meant to do. Okay. Because uh, I'm worried about her getting killed. Thank you. Or taken. Okay. Wait until Bryce gets back before I damage him. I am back. Okay. All right, so I am frightened. Oh, I'm knocked prone too. Lovely. You're not prone. You shouldn't be. Oh, I'm paralyzed. No, I'm incapacitated. You're paralyzed. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, you're you are paralyzed. And um, she's gonna. You you see Heliana reach her arm forward, and she is going to strike you. Uh, okay. She's not gonna have it. Oh boy. 18. Misses. Holy crap. That's a miss. Alright. That's the end of her turn. You see you Kyle are. laugh. You see Kyle scared laugh like. <laughs> this is home. You're up. What you doing? Hit me? Yes, Winkhelm, you're up. What you doing? Alright. I am going to do something that I don't know if this is going to work, but let's see. Okay. 
What you doing? Um, I am going to cast Hold Monster on uh Heliana and her uh on Heliana as a fifth level spell. Okay. Um, and let's let's go. Okay, what kind of save is that? Um, doobity do. I forgot to click her. Um, uh, uh, I forgot to click her. I hear a lot of noise, but I don't see any. <laughs> Why can't I? Hold monster. I believe that's a wisdom save. Most of these things are wisdom saves. Yeah, and that's wisdom. Wisdom, okay. And if she fail if she succeeds, I'm gonna silvery barbs her. Okay. You already burned your reaction though for this round. No, this is my new turn. This is my new turn. This is my turn. I get it back. Oh, that's right. You're right. Uh And it's an 18 is the is the uh is my uh, spell save. Okay, she failed. Okay. Amazing. Now, that's my action. As a bonus action, I'm going to use tele I'm oh boy. I did not actually expect that to succeed. Um so as a bonus action I'm going to use telekinetic mage hand to push uh the um uh guy who's right next to um uh, Kyle five feet away from him. Okay. Uh and uh strength save eighteen. Strength save eighteen, okay. That is a failure. All right, he gets pushed five feet away, uh, and all right, and I am going to end my turn. Oh boy, I have a blade so I'll get. Oh boy. Okay, and you are now concentrating on hold monster, correct? Yes, I am. Okay. All righty. And with that, whoopsie dizzy, I don't know why I found go back. All right. This Imperial Ghoul, let's get up here. And he is going to Go ahead and fire at Winkhelm. He saw Winkhelm cast a spell, and he doesn't like that. So. That is a nine. That misses, unfortunately. And that is the end of his turn. Granny, oh. you're up. What's she doing? All hits on her are crits. So now I have resistance. Oh, you teleported, I see. Okay. And I'm gonna touch him with protection from good and evil. Okay. So that's me concentrating. So he gets a advantage on the save for his next turn. And if he passes, he will be, uh, if the undead will have advantage against him, and he can't be charmed, frightened, etc. Okay, well, his, uh, the whole finger of death thing, that'll end as soon as Heliana ends her turn here. Um, oh, good. Oh, 
So that um, means that he'll just be protected from that. So I, I'm going to... Okay. Now I need everyone within... Let's see. That's Nico. That's Kyle. That's Granny. That's Winkhelm. And that's Brian. All of you. I need you all to make a constitution saving throw, please. <laughs> Actually, Granny, you don't need to make the save because you have resistance anyway from necrotic. Gosh, damage. darn it. <laughs> okay. Not yet. No, this is. Still, no, this. We're still under the effect. You yep. will. You Wait, will did, this happen before, did this happen before I cast the spell? Yeah. Okay, so I don't have to worry about my, uh, uh, concentration. Well, do I have yes. to make a con save as well? Yes. Yes, you do, Nico. Yep. So, Kyle failed, Brian failed, Winkhelm failed. I have yet to roll anything other than a five. <laughs> uh, come on, Nico. Need a con save. How much damage? Okay, so all of you fail. So, you all take... Twenty-three points of necrotic damage. Um, we can't see the, the numbers on the dice yet. Please. Why did I? I don't know why that keeps flipping to. Oh, there we go. That's why. And there we go. Yeah. So twenty-three points of necrotic damage to all of you. As you're now caught in his aura of, you're now caught in her aura of death. Oh, we still have um, the ability to apply damage, so let's do it manually. All right. And that will okay. All right. Oh yeah, yes. and, and uh, Bryce, you don't have resistance to the spell. You have uh, the the enemies attacking you have disadvantage. Okay. If I pass. No, disadvantage. No, they already do. Oh, okay, nice. But you have advantage on your next saving throw against the frightened thing. Okay. The 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 frightened the frightened thing is gonna end automatically. He doesn't have to make the save. So yeah, all you have to remember is disadvantage against. Uh, I mean. Advantage against the, her. No. Sorry. The enemies have disadvantage attacking you. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, Granny, is that it for you? Yes. Okay. All right. This one. Is gonna go ahead and move up, and he is going to um, attack Kyle with a crossbow with and yes, with disadvantage. That's a seven. All right. That's the end of that one's turn. Brian, you're up. What you doing? Anyway, sorry. My mother called unexpectedly for some reason. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I have a plan. Yep. They're all kind of close. Yep. I want to... Okay, show me... Mm -hmm. Oh, that'll be just barely out. Maybe if I... Ah, okay. I'm gonna cast Fireball right there. It'll hit everyone in that circle. Hit. So, yeah, so I need a deck save from all four of those. Ooh, and uh, Yeliana is, para is paralyzed. Yeah. So, um... So an auto-fail. Yep. So that's an auto-fail on Heliana's part. Alrighty mm -hmm. then, deck save. What is your spell save DC there, Brian? Uh, that is a good question. Let me double check. That is a cash money fireball right there. Uh, da, 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 where the heck is that? It's quite the animation, too. I don't play that many. 
shit. It's just what the hell? It should be eight plus you eight plus five plus your intelligence. No, I know my. There we go. Sorry, my intelligence was just blank for a second. So that is. Okay, so it's twenty-one. What? Like plus my intelligence modifier, right? Um. Wait, I looked at the wrong button. Sorry, it's fifteen. It's, fifteen. It's it's six. It's sixteen. I just looked. I was gonna 16? say, there's no way you've got a twenty-one. Yeah, there's no way you've got twenty-one. No, I, I looked at saving throw, not the other one. That's my bad. Yes. Um. Yeah. So this one, this one, and then this one. Let's do roll. Save. Has any? Does any? Okay, so two of those fail. Uh, this one succeeds, so he'll take half. Um, go ahead, roll damage with the fireball there, Brian. Eight d six. Does anyone know Heliana's uh, armor class? It catches. Hit her yet. We we won't what? know that without actually hitting spell her. Hit her. But she's only 15 feet in the air. Yeah, but she is paralyzed, right. so it doesn't really matter. There you go. So, um, here we are to 10. Um, it's up, like, it's no, where I originally cast no. the spell for some reason. That's where that damage yeah, the, yeah, the, uh, the, the, the 15, the 18, that, that, that's all their saves. Heliana failed. Oh, well then, it rolled the, the damage. damage the, 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 the damage is 15. Oh, that's there it is. I see it now. That is a that's sad it. damage oh, roll. Sucks. I, I said the... digital dice don't like me. <laughs> none of those d6s uh, were higher than it. Only one of them was a 3. Everything else was a 2 or a 1. Yeah, that's no. okay. Hey, still, the total amount of damage is still like 30, though. Why is it not letting me? I have times 4. Yeah. Do they automatically take the damage, or do you have to do it manually? I think I have to do it manually. No, I gotta do it manually. Um, here we go. And okay, so this one failed. So ah, why is it not letting me? You you rolled below average, sir. The average is like twenty four or twenty five. Yeah, I know. What is it? You you rolled half of that. Oh my gosh. Oh we're not half that but close. I don't think That's you guys garbage. understand. <laughs> when I say that I talk my way out of situations, I quite literally talk to my I can't roll for shit. <laughs> I can't roll out of situations. It is talking. Okay, here's what you, you need to make a pact with the uh dice gods. <laughs> I don't think I'm they'll really... let me. <laughs> Lady look. I, I... I I am just I'm just gonna keep track of health on paper right now because Foundry is refusing to let me change health, so that will be the end of my turn. Um, okay. So. Okay, and then. Yeah. There should be more. Did I accidentally? What the frick? I deleted some ghouls. Oh well, we'll just say they died. What? I don't know, my foundry is acting up and it just deleted some ghouls, so I'm just gonna roll with it. Um... Potent fireball like this. And then... And then she failed, but... Um, you, you, you notice that the fireball does not have as much of an effect as you thought you would on uh, Heliana, it appears she's resistant to fire. Hmm. Good to know. She is from hell now. So. <laughs> oh, now it lets me edit That's the so freaking health of my... Come on. Oh, now... What in the... Okay, hold on. Um, so that was 15, and she failed in this half, so... Seven. So. Okay. All right. And with that, 
Fireball is gone. Um, this ghoul is going to go ahead and attack Winkhelm. Mm -hmm. Once with a bite, once with a claw. Mm -hmm. That is a 16 to hit you, good sir. Uh, th uh, that would hit, except that I'm going to cast shield. Okay. Just because I don't trust my silvery barbs. Uh, 24? Uh, that one will hit, even with a shield. Okay. Uh -huh. And I need you to give me a con save, please. 14 points of slashing damage, and I need a con save from you, Link Helm. Just a second. I have to do... Uh... Oh, oh yes, you need a con save for your concentration, but I'll need I'll need an additional con save on top of that. So go with con save. Um, so you need a ten to keep up your old monster. Just a second. I have to uh, do hit points. Okay, first con save is concentration. Okay. Yep, you need a ten. Oop. All right. Oh. You you lose concentration on hold monster. All right. Second cop is for whatever the at one is. Okay, you are not paralyzed. Oh, okay. All, All right. right, and that is the, and that is the end of that ghoul's turn. Kyle, We're... you are still paralyzed and all that junk. You can still talk, um, but that's about it. Do I get to roll at all, or no? The, until nope, you're it, it. It'll automatically shut off once Heliana ends her turn. Okay. So, you can role play, but that's about it. Uh, nope, Kyle's just being silent. He's just terrible. All right. So does he get to make saving throws again? Uh, nope. It, it, it's it's not something he can retry the saving throw because it automatically shuts off at the end of her turn. Oh, I see. So, um, and this school is going to rush up 30 or so feet, and he is going to strike Kyle with a crossbow bolt with disadvantage. Oh, I forgot to mention, Adam, how much of the stuff in that fireball range would you say is flammable? Um... It's all forest, so it's pretty flammable. Why? Okay, it's all on fire. Lovely. <laughs> Crap, I, would that's like too... to, I would like to sentinel that. That's two crits. Wow. Wow. I am sentineling. Oh, is it, oh, is it attacking Granny? Okay. Uh, you can use this feature. And he triggered by okay, so it um okay. He just doesn't get the crit damage. Right, okay, gotcha, gotcha. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just roll another crossbow because it won't let me it won't let me undo the crit. So it'll yeah. I'll I'll roll another, I'll say that that hit, even though it's a natural one, and Kyle takes four points of piercing damage. Okay, okay. Nico, I need oh, you to make you, a con No, paral if you're paralyzed, it's an auto crit. Auto only within crit? five only within five feet is it an auto crit. Ah, okay, okay. Yes. Uh Nico, I need you to make a con save, please. Oh boy. Because what I forgot to mention last time is that the oh. whole Aura of Death thing starts at the beginning of your turn whenever you're within 30 feet of her. So, that is a failure. So you take... Oh. 24 points of necrotic damage, Nico. Another 24? Yes. God, that alone is going to kill us soon. 
All right, you may now take your turn, Nico. It's like half my health to these two times saves. Well, Kai, Nico is furious that they have incapacitated his chief. He gets to do his first ever rage. Okay. Now, when we do our unarmed strike, I can do reckless attack. Yep. Which I am going to do on the ghoul right here. Okay. Actually, no. I'm going to do it at... Is she still 15 feet in the air, even though she's paralyzed? No, she dropped. She okay, dropped. so she's within range. I don't have to leave this guy. I'm just going mm-hmm. to punch Heliana. Excellent. Okay, 25 hits. Here's that damage. Okay. Twenty. Ten. Give me a sec. Still calculating damage. Uh, twenty. Um, that was for the second attack. Yeah. Twenty hits. Go ahead, roll damage. Exact same roll. Sixteen again. Okay. Okay, and on the second one, I'm going to use. A stunning strike. Okay. So she's already paralyzed, right? No, oh, it's no. All the, at the moment. No, she's no longer paralyzed because Winkhelm failed his con save. Okay. Well, now she has to make a con saving throw, which I believe is uh, sixteen. I believe it's based on your wisdom. So, I want to say that's sixteen. It's 8 plus proficiency plus wisdom, right? Yes. Fit? Then, yeah, that is 16. 16, okay. So she has to make a con save. That is a 30. That passes. But now she takes 11 more damage. <coughs> 11 more damage. All right. Is it the end of your turn, Nico? That is my turn. Okay. Solid 40 damage. 43. Chipping away at her. Chipping away at her slowly but surely. Just wait till next turn when I get to make four unarmed strikes with advantage and plus two and all this stuff. Heliana is going to move to Kyle. Oh. And she's going to strike him twice. And because he's paralyzed, these are auto crits. So that's an auto crit. And that's an auto crit. They still hit? Yes, because he's paralyzed. No, like, no, like, the, like with her modifiers, they still hit. Oh, they, she has a modifier modifier. She's within five feet, he's paralyzed, so they're auto crits. No, like... Rolling. I, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just rolling because that's the only way that I can bring up the damage. It, it, won't, it won't let me do damage without a roll. Um... So. No, I'm saying it's like with her modifier, without you know, like what was on the die with her modifier, would is that sufficient to hit? Because only if it hits does it crit. Um. Okay, so well, hold on, let me. Oh, okay, I see. So. The second one, the the second one is not a crit. However, technically, she does have advantage on that one um, because she's within five feet. So, let me roll with advantage for the second attack. Does she have disadvantage because of mine. Oh right, so it is just normal. Okay, so normal. 
Yes. So so only so only one of them hit. The the the, the twenty the twenty one does hit because that's his AC. Um. Okay. So Kyle, you take. I already rolled the attack. Why aren't you letting me roll? Fine, I'll just do it manually. Um. Whoops. Five D eight plus six damage. You take thirty points of necrotic damage, but wait, there's more. Not only do you take thirty points of necrotic damage, um, your max hit points also goes down by thirty. So you're now at ninety five max HP. Oh, okay. For how long? Until the next long rest. There, and then I'll lower it to 95. Well, I can't change it, but okay. I, I have it saved. Oh, nope, you just did it. Ah, uh, I should have more than 42. Yeah, I'll, no, let, I'll, let, you, I'll let you. Hang on, hang on. I should have had more than, I'm pretty sure I should have more than 42 because I was uh, injured last time. Because I thought I had 105, yeah, you're... and I took, no, 10, I had 102, and I took that 30, I think. Yes. Unless I took somewhere else. So is my health wrong, or is it fine where it's at? Um, no. It, um, so you were at 102 before the strike? I think so. Unless you took okay, damage I'll, from something I else. I could be wrong. No. Can no, you, you, you take damage the same, can you take the 30 oh, damage yeah. twice? No, I took it once. I took it once. I took the damage. No. But then whenever he adjusted Wait, my max HP, I saw my number change again. Right. No, what I'm getting at is they get damage done automatically from the uh, computer formula no, no, applying no. it and then you at doing it. No, 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 no. So I, whenever I did it, it went down 30. But then when Adam changed my max health, my number went down as well, I thought. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. I could be so, wrong, but... Okay. So okay, so 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 what what were you what were you at before your max health change? One of Oops, sorry. I was at one oh two Okay. Minus thirty. As I know 30. I was Yeah. Minus thirty would be seventy two. Yes, so I was 70... at yes, I was at seventy two. Yes, so you're at seventy two out of ninety five right now. Yes, because I, I knew I was in before you did it. I knew I was like at injured status, not badly injured. Oh no! You, hold on. Yeah, because then you took the extra damage. What? Yes, that's what. So correct. Okay, so uh, you know what? Let's just go with it. Sure, why not? Let's just go with forty-two. Yes, yes. Th th this is meant to be a very deadly ability. So yes, you are at forty-two. Yes. Let's just go with that. Okay. Um. All right. And with that. Uh, that is the end of her turn. You are no longer paralyzed, incapacitated, or frightened. Kyle, congratulations. You can take those off. Yay. All right. And with that... Winkhelm, you're up. I'm going to activate Blade Song, finally. Okay. Um... Uh, the uh, which increases my armor class. Oh, this goes. Oh, uh, yep. I'll increase my armor class to uh nineteen base. Mm -hmm. I'll deal with that later. Then, as an action, I'm going to cast the spell Summon Aberration as a 7th level spell. Okay. Um, and I am going to place it uh, uh, da, 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 da. and I'm going to use the uh, Uh, 
star spawn version, um, and I'm going to place it, uh, right here. Right where? Uh, the, uh, behind, uh, behind Heliana, uh, okay. flanking with Nico. Uh, it has, uh, 18 armor class and, uh, Seventy hit points. Um, and it has. Okay, let me see. Uh, six attacks. And let's see how. I don't know if this is the right thing to do because. Um, uh, can I see a little bit further back? Uh, there's, this is, uh, these are, actually, no, like, actually, that's where it's supposed to be. It's melee attacks. Good. Okay. So these are going to be, uh, and that will, end, and I'm going to move, I'm going to stay put. Um, yep. at, um, now it's, I may then command it to make attacks on Giliana. All right. Um, that's, that was its turn. Right. Okay. I need you to give me a con save though for the aura of death thingy. Uh, does this happen before or after I cast? Bef before you cast. So you're still concentrating. And that is a failure. How much damage? Rolling... 25 points of necrotic damage. Oh my gosh. Alright. Okay. Right. Hold on. Um... Alright. This is all fine. We're all good. All will be well. Okay. At advantage. The star spawn will make a bunch of attacks. Right. Hold on one one little second here. And it's gonna make attacks with a plus five modifier oh, with a plus five modifier. And it's gonna make uh It's one second. Let me count how many it is. How many attacks it is. It's a uh, um. um half the uh, yeah, half the spells level around the down. Seventh level around the down is six. Okay. The, uh, um. No. Uh. Three. Three attacks. But uh. I'm using seven level because it's a uh, one d8 plus three plus the spell's level in damage. So that's one d8 plus ten damage is the damage die. Right, right. Um, okay. So it's three attacks with one d8 plus ten, and it's a plus right. five to hit. Right. Okay. Here's the th here 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 here's the thing though. The aberrant spirit is within thirty feet of Hyliana, so it has to make a con save for the aura of death. Okay. Thing. Okay. Let me pull up. It's a uh, con plus two. Um. Uh. One d twenty plus two. Yep. Boobity boo. That's uh, a uh, Wait, no. Hold on. Let me pull. Uh, it 12? should be a 12. That is yeah. a failure. Okay. So it, takes, it takes 66 necrotic damage. So that is 14 oh. damage to the spirit. Okay. Um, hold on, let me... Let me... Let me pull up a pencil and paper so I can keep track of its hit points. So it's 7th it. level, right? You casted it 7th yeah. level? Yeah, it's, uh, 
So it is 70, or no, mm-hmm. yeah, 70 hit points. Right. Okay. Yeah, 70 minus 14. That pen has, that pen has, he is dead. So 60, 56 health it has. Okay, cool. All right, now it's going to make a... Uh, 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 it's an advantage because it's flanking. Yep. Uh, how do I give the uh um advantage or all? Tell us if you're doing an advantage. Um, I can I can do it. That's fine. Okay. Okay. Yes. It's got a uh, plus five uh to hit. Okay. And it makes three of those, right? Right. And if it hits, it's uh, uh, plus it's eight, one d eight plus ten. Okay, that hits. Ooh, this one hits. Second one hits. Oh, her armor classes are not great. Nope. And. Third one hits. All right. Three D eight plus ten. Psychic. And because she is within uh because she's within uh uh five feet of it uh yeah. She has to make a wisdom save 18. Okay. Uh, or take 2d6 psychic. Okay, I'm going to roll the the damage from the multi-attack first. Okay, 19 okay. damage. And then you said she needs to make a wisdom save, right? Yeah, wisdom 18. This probably wisdom is not as good. Eight. Wisdom 18. Right. That is a fifteen. Ah, uh, awesome! Like, uh, yeah, like uh, three D, yeah, the three D eight plus thirty actually, because it's a uh, three D eight plus ten plus ten plus ten. Oh, okay. So let me yeah, just add each of the each of the eighty eight gets a ten. Okay, so let me just add the twenty on to there. Okay, and then how much for the wisdom failed wisdom save? Uh, for the failed wisdom save is 2d6 psychic. 2d6 psychic. And... 7 psychic. Alright. Okay. And... That will end my turn. Okay, Granny, you're up. I'm going to cast Mass Healing Word. Oh, okay. thank goodness. You don't need to cast it on me. I have yet to be touched. Yes, yes, on the three who are injured. Okay. Um, this is not up. And then I'm going to teleport away. How much healing? Okay. Um. Oh. Uh. Hold on. Hold on, Granny. Um. So you're within thirty feet when you started. So um, you take half of sixty-six. You don't even need to make the con save because it doesn't matter. So I guess that healing will also apply to me. So thirty-three. Um... So yes, so twenty-three have to eleven. You take eleven necrotic damage. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. If 
I said 33. <laughs> no, 23. So. And then you teleport away! Yes, where are you teleporting to? Um, let's see. There we go. Oh, actually, I'm full health because I healed myself. Okay. So I'm teleporting all the way. gonna say the the game isn't paused so you should be able to move there we go and then i'm gonna walk farther <laughs> so i don't take any more damage okay as far as i can go there we go granny I'm... is at the entrance to the forest <laughs> okay all of you uh did you all take your 20 healing just no i haven't uh, all of you need to uh, add that to yourselves thank goodness it's just taking a dear sweet time. Yeah. Okay. You're 23 healing? 20 healing. 20. Alright. Okay, is that the end of your turn, Benny? Yes. Okay. Um... This ghoul is going to go ahead and shoot at Granny. You do have resistance because you just teleported. Yeah. That does not hit. 15. All right. That is the end of that ghoul's turn. Brian, you're up. All right, and I need I need you to give me a con save, please. Oh boy. If it's another five. Oh yeah, that's so much better. <laughs> Look at you always taking environmental damage. Um, fifteen points of necrotic damage. Fantastic. All right. Okay. Now you, well, now you may take your turn. There we go. What you okay. doing? Okay, so I'm going to cast uh, Scorching Ray, and I'm just going to use one ray to target each of the enemies. There's only three of them left, right? There is Heliana and then the three ghouls. Oh, there's another ghoul over in the corner. I didn't see that one over there. Yes. Okay, so well... Mm. <laughs> you know what? Screw it. I'm going to do this just so I can get more damage per turn. I'm, I realize I did not summon the cannon yet, so I'm just going to summon the cannon. All right, you and... burn your action and summon the cannon. Sounds yep. good. Um, Where would you like to place said cannon? And in what mode? I'm actually gonna go flamethrower. Flamethrower? Yeah. Okay, where do you want to place the cannon? Flame. Uh, let's see. Uh oh. How, how far can it go for me? It has to be within five feet of me, so like, I'll just put it in front. Okay. So you. Baruch, and you may command it as a bonus action. Alright. Well. What is the range of fire? I think it's like 120. No, that was force. Uh, oh, that was force, you're right. Um, Flamethrower's 15 foot cone. So 15 let's foot see. cone, deck save, gotcha. Yeah. So, let's see, I need a map tool. Here's the distance. Uh, I can hit Heliana, I think. Yeah, I can hit Heliana because she's yes. fat. Yeah, I'm gonna shoot. Yeah. yeah, so I need a deck save from Helion. <laughs> Just setting her on fire for fun. Okay. Um, you know she. You remember she's resistant to fire, right? I I have a plan. Don't worry. Okay. I just so... couldn't do it this turn. <laughs> okay, okay, so from so from where the cone is, so from where the cone is standing, you will hit Heliana. You will hit 
Um, one ghoul and you will hit Nico. Nico, how good is your dex? He's a monk, and he has evasion. It's incredible. Oh, yeah, I, oh, you'll, I you'll be will. I'll be fine. You'll, you'll be fine. All right, yeah, I'll do that. Okay. So I need Nico, the ghoul, and Heliana to make dex saves, DC 15. And my, uh, my dex save happens to be plus nine. Oh, well, yeah, so yeah, no, there you go. I think yeah, no so damage. Because you, yeah, because you're a monk, you take no damage. Um, okay. This ghoul needs a dex save. Needs to beat a 15. Okay, so half of that. And Heliana needs to beat a 15. That's a failure, but she's resistant. So go ahead, roll damage for the flamethrower there. Zach, how much is that? All right. 2D... It's 2d8. 2d8? Okay, go ahead, roll 2d8. Or 4d8 um, at this level. My bad. So I rerolled re the saves, but I don't know. Um, anyway, fifteen damage, half for damage. both. So half for yeah. both. Okay. It's good. I just had to get the cannon out there, and I figured I'd do a little bit of extra damage so, while I'm at it. Okay, so. Next turn, though, I if someone could make it so that she's bad at doing saves, I have a funny thing I could do. Seven. I can still restart. I'm sorry, Connor. Please I do. That would be fantastic. I just I need her to not be here. good at con saves. Uh, That's the true. Care. The stun effect. She has a crazy. I have silvery barbs, and also I can make her weaker. At, uh, I can do that, but it takes a lot of spells. Okay, because I have elemental bane. So interesting. Okay. Nope, this doesn't it doesn't affect your... con saves, unfortunately. Is that the end of your turn, Brian? Yeah, that's it. Okay. Who's that mm, chicken looking that's... thing behind oh. Heliana? That's that's my uh, Winkhelm spirit. Okay. Um and this ghoul is gonna attack Winkhelm. Go twice, once with the bite. Eighteen misses because your blade song. Once with the claw. Sixteen misses. Okay, and that's the end of that. All right. Kyle, I need to, I need you to give me a con save, please. Okay. Um, Constitution save. Because of the because of the aura of death. Twenty five. Twenty five. Okay. Um. And let me double check the aura of death. Um. Aura of death. Okay, you succeeded, so you take no damage. Alright. And you may now take your turn. Okay. Um, what you doing? Well, Kyle is going to keep his shield up, because honestly, actually, hmm. I'm trying to think. No, wait, that adds a plus five. Like, plus four to my AC, actually. Hang on a second. I want to make sure to see how valuable this uh, shield actually is. Oh yeah, that's a that's a plus, that's a plus that's four. Okay, I'm just trying to think. Should I dump the shield, dump the sword, and go with great sword and start wailing on her? What you wailing doing? sounds like a good idea right about now. All right, you know what? Screw it. If he dies, he dies. So <laughs> you get you don't get penalized for dropping stuff. So Kyle is going to drop no. drop the shield. Nope, that's that's an object interact, okay. Wait, what? No, no. Dropping stuff isn't. 
but picking but picking up a great sword is part of it's it's like a free action yeah basically. yeah yeah, yeah. Anyway, he, he's dropping the long sword and dropping the shield on the ground right right yeah and he's gonna whip out the great sword as an object uh -huh. interact and then okay. he is going to go back into a rage again because he is pissed and then okay. he is going to reckless attack Heliana with his great sword. Okay. With the natty. It's a crit. 19 mm -hmm. damage. And now, so um, I'm going to burn a maneuver die on her. Don't you have even stronger crits? Or did you, is that calculated in? Oh, that's brute crit. That, that That's for barbarian. That isn't that that sucks. Um, no, he doesn't. And then I'm okay. going to go and use a disarming attack against her because she has claws. <gasps> She's not holding Wait. anything though. But you can still do it though. You can actually still do a disarming attack. Even if she's not holding anything. Yeah, our fighter and Chris Straw did that total BS the entire time. Huh. I mean, I'm a because. What that? What would that do to her claws? Probably not much. Yeah, that... Disarming. It has to be done if they have a weapon, though. When you... Uh, you can drop one item. The hand is not considered an item. Hmm. Yes, yeah, does she have any items at all on her? No, it's just her. So... Yeah, I like the idea, but you cannot disarm her. She's not holding anything. Fine. Like she doesn't, like she doesn't have any amulets or anything like that. Nope. Fine. It's just her. Fine. Fine. I'm gonna go ahead and do goading attack against her then. Okay. So then I do add my one d eight damage to her. Okay. Which is additional two damage, so that's one hit. So she takes twenty one total, and she. Oh, she failed. Oh, yeah. So now she can only be on me. And, and if she attacks anyone else, she has disadvantage. Like she needed a reason to attack you. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, yeah. He's just like, you freaking ugly hag. I should have dumped you years ago. Like hundreds of years ago. All uh, right. Is that the end of your turn? Oh, Kyle? absolutely freaking not. Second attack. <laughs> okay. Second attack. Go. Look at that. Another Correct. nat 20. Oh, Let's go. That's a double crit. That is a double crit. All right. For 16 damage. And then guess what? He's going to goading attack her again. Okay. Just just for just the spit on her face. 1d8 damage. That's additional okay. 3. So that's 19 additional total three. for that turn. Okay. Action surge. <laughs> okay. Attack. Advantage. Reckless attack again. That hits. Another 11 damage. Okay. Go ahead and attack on another goading attack against her. Can you do that twice? Because she's already. It doesn't say you it can. It's turning on the dice. You can you just keep burning dice to do extra damage. It doesn't. Yeah, I could just keep. True. I could just keep doing it. So yeah. All right. All right. Go All right. Go ahead. Another. Go ahead. He's just insulting her, like like about the smallest things, like the critiquing everything about their relationship. How she was just a. Your eyelashes are not don't look good right now. Why you don't you why don't you mess up your eyelashes? No no no. no. He, he's dissing her from the past. <laughs> like your eyelashes never looks good. <laughs> Anyway, he's going to attack again with Reckless Attack Okay. for his final and only time. 28. I feel like this is just beautiful, like story-wise. <laughs> just him wailing on his ex. I love it. All right. 13 damage. Wow, and then... That is max damage on one die. Okay. And um, then he's going to do Goading Attack. Just insult her one more good time. Just... Okay. For another four. All right. Let's see. So how heard... is this different from part from a, a vicious mockery? What you're doing to her? Pretty much. 
Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> All right. Is that except it for you? Kyle? Except it isn't in her head. Let's see. I use my bonus action. I. Oh, gosh. I couldn't take it. So you used four superiority dice this turn? Yeah, I did. Okay. I summed up your damage. It's 75 total. <laughs> All right, are you done? I, I think Pile? I'm done. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <coughs> She's ticked off anyway. <laughs> she just had her ex just roast her four times <laughs> back to back to back. Um, This ghoul is going to target the aberrant spirit with a crossbow attack. Actually, no. He's going to move up and attack. I need all your damage price because my goal is to try and beat it. Uh oh. Kyle lost his shield. Oh, your AC's down. I know. Oh, sorry. I messaged. Okay. I DM'd this to Bryce, but having deflect attacks means reckless attack is like not as bad. It's like they're more likely to hit me, but if they okay. do something I have resistance in, and then uh, I, I can use my reaction to reduce that to zero. And I get a free attack. So, like, it covers up um, for it. Aberrant Spirit. Okay, you cast that at 7th level, right? Mm hmm. Okay, so that AC is 18. So, mm -hmm. okay. So the 22 still hits. And mm -hmm. then the claw. The claw. 16, I'm that's sorry. a miss. I'm so sorry for saying that. That was atrocious. And that is um, 16 points of damage to the Aberrant Spirit. Okay. So he is now at 40. That's good. That's all good and fine. Okay, that is the end of that ghoul's turn. Nico, you're up and still raging away. This is about to be super dope. So I'm going to join Kyle's wailing on a... How do you say your name again? Heliana. Heliana? Heliana. So, attacking. 22. 22 hits. Okay. So that's normal damage roll. Fourteen damage. I'm going to do stunning strike with that. <coughs> that is a fifteen. My DC is a sixteen. All right, she's stunned. She is stunned. Wow. Oh, I'm going to do something too risky. I don't like what I'm about she's to stunned. do. You stunned her? So she's incapacitated too. Nice. Yep. So um, that means she. Oh, that means she automatically fails. Uh, strength and test. Okay. Well, I've already reckless attack, so it doesn't even matter at this point. There we go. All right. So that doubles my damage die. Yes. So that is 3d10 and 3d6. 27. 7. Okay. And now, flurry of blows. Okay. In order to keep the pain train rolling along. Ah, oh, thirteen. It misses. Man. Roll. Oh, I am pretty sure we know her. Twenty. Twenty hits. She does not have high AC, but she is very chunky. 
I don't want to do um, more stunning strikes when they're unnecessary. That's okay, another 11, 11 damage. I need you to make a con save for the aura of death, though, because that's still active while she's alive. Okay. I got 52 damage, Bryce. Yep, I did. I was just about to say that to you. That was not. That was good, man. Not bad. Okay. I was hoping she would fail all the stunning strikes, and I could get like an extra, like basically 40 10 on her. Mm -hmm. But okay, so you take no necrotic damage because you succeeded on that. And is that the end of your turn, Nico? That is the end of my turn. All right. And the Nightwalker, she can re-roll the stun save now, right? Or not? Not until the next turn. turn. Not until, okay. Uh, let me double check it, but I'm pretty sure... Stunning Strike. Uh, when you hit another creature with a melee attack, you expand. The target must succeed. Uh, it'll be stunned until the end of your next turn. So until Nico's next turn. Although, they might have they might have changed that with the updated monk. Let me check. I don't think so, but they might have. Just to give the DM a little breathing room, which I would have appreciated. But we'll see. Rules are rules. Um, do I, need... I might be able... Who has Elemental Bane? Me. Artificer? I go last, so... What? Yeah. Okay. I might be able to help with this if I... If I do this, um, um uh, is, I could, um, I just want to set the boss on fire because I think it would be funny. Well, the thing is, she has resistance to fire. I know. Bane okay. just gets rid of that, though. It makes it so she just sticks neutral. So... Okay, or, so if, so... or if they're not, uh... It's a con save, right? It's a con save. Yeah. Okay, so yes, the stunning strike remains unchanged, so she is stunned until the until the start of your next turn. Okay, uh, all right, Winkhelm, you're up. Uh, I've got two things I really want to do. One would be to help uh, Brian with a combo, and it would be really cool. Um, but it would take my turn, his turn, and the next turn to pull off, and that's, uh... Mm. Right, what you doing? Be... I mean, it's... I might just get lucky. Mm. No, it would take three turns to set up, because it would, uh, it would take your my turn, your turn, and another turn to, uh, do, and that's just not no. viable. I mean, I might just get lucky with the con save. Right, so instead, what I am going to do with, um... With your permission, do you have that's Kyle. A strength or dex save. She's failing those. I right do, now. I do, I do, I do. Kyle, with your permission, can I uh throw your shield or sword at her? I don't care, as long as it doesn't damage it. All right. Um, I would like to cast catapult at uh. Mm, fifth level at her. Okay. Uh, using her, uh, Kyle's sword. Okay. Um. Uh, and. Uh huh. Okay. Boom. And she's, uh, Paralyzed, so that's an auto fail if she's paralyzed, right? Yes, so that's auto damage. Yep. Um, and so go ahead and uh, roll the uh, fifth level, uh, uh, which is 78. Uh, does the fact that it's a great, uh, great uh, long story do anything? Um, is it a magical longsword, Kyle? Or is it just a regular longsword? Yeah, just a regular sword. 
Um, he just picked up a sword for funsies, but no, his great sword magic. Okay, he's not dropping that. Right. Okay. okay. Yes. So, okay, that that that's fine. Okay, so go ahead, roll the five, d eight. No, oh, 7 d8. Or 7 d8, excuse me. Uh, boom. Okay, 31. And, uh, bonus action. Uh,. I'm going to cast. Uh, I'm going to use uh, telekinetic shove and push the uh, uh, guy, the uh, guy who's right next to me, five feet away, okay. and move. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. He, he makes a strength save eighteen. Strength save. That is a success. Mm. Well, apparently I don't move. Um, okay. That'll end my turn. And then my uh, my little uh, star spawn spirit will make will have its turn. Okay. Um. Before that happens, Winkhelm, I forgot. I need you to make a con. Did you Did you make a con save for Aura of Death this? Realm? No, I totally forgot about that. Okay. Come on. Uh, that is a failure. Twenty. It is? Yes. The DC you needed to beat was 21. Oh, for crying out loud. Let I don't me... think I could physically oh, scare that. Hold on. Actually, no. No. Blator adds 5 to that. So 20. I got 25, actually. Oh, okay. So then you do not take the 21 damage. Okay. Um, okay. So. Uh, uh, Wait, is that only I'm, is that only is that only against spells or everything? Because it's not that a spell. Is a, hold on, hold on. Uh, da, 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 da. That's when I'm maintaining concentration on the spell. Yes. Okay, so that actually <laughs> does that actually does take the damage. But when I take the, when I try and concentrate on the spell from the damage, I right. Uh, right. I make the. Uh, yes. So I'm gonna re-roll the sixty-six because I deleted it. Twenty-one, same as last time. So twenty-one points of necrotic damage. So you need to make a ten oh, hold on, hold on. con save. Hold on. To, concent to maintain concentration. Just keep going. This 21 is... Uh... 53. No. 64 minus 21 okay. equals... Uh... 43. 43. There we go. Yes. Yeah, okay. I am I need... real bad. Yes, I need you to give me a con save to continue concentrating. Yeah, and uh, that, that's a pass. Yes, that's a pass. Okay, so your spirit stays up. Now it is your spirit's okay. turn. Yes. Your um, spirit needs to make a con save. Uh, 1d20 plus 2. Yep. I'm just going to roll... Uh, 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 needs to be at a 21. Why is this not? This is being I can, goofy. I can, I, Thank I, you. I can, I, can, I can roll it if need be. Yeah, because um, this is being real weird. I, I. Okay, that succeeds. The spirit is fine. The spirit can attack. Okay, and then it makes three attacks. And each of them does 1d8 plus... Uh, hold on. It's... It makes three attacks with a plus 5 to hit, and 1d8 plus 10 each. Okay. 
Um, and then I believe it does have disadvantage because of the ghouls right behind it. But it's flanking. Oh, that's right. So, yeah. And I don't, it, I don't care if it loses or dies at the end. So, okay, so the advantage and the disadvantage would cancel out. Okay. Um, and then, okay, so you said it's a plus five for the roll? Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. That hits. And... I forgot to add the plus five. That's a 13. That misses. And the third. That hits. Okay, so two of those hit. And 1d8 plus 10 for each of them. Okay. So, first attack. 15. <laughs> Second attack. 12 for 27 points of damage total. Excellent. And that will do. Four, okay. Also, it makes our uh, Heliomenes make a DC 18 wisdom save. Uh, also, the ghoul next to it makes, makes uh, needs to make the same save, wisdom save. Um, and it's the third ghoul within the uh, range. Um, within range of what? Um, five feet, right. Five feet, the two ghouls there. One yeah, is within five ghouls, feet of... The two, the, uh, this one is ten feet away from the spear. Okay, so what, the one that's within five feet, and Helion, I need to make a, a Wisdom 18 save, or take 2d6 Psychic. Okay, Wisdom 18... That's a four, and wisdom, that's a 20. Okay, uh, Iliana takes a uh, 2d6 psychic, the ghoul does not. Okay, so seven. All right. Okay. That is the end of the spirit's turn. Yes. Um, which means, Granny, you're up. Um, I'm going to move up so I can see people. Okay. And then, hold on, are you within 30 feet now of the... Probably. Okay, I need you to give me a con save. You're going to have resistance anyway, but you might not take any. Con save, 21 is the DC. Ooh, for damage. Hey, see... So you take half of this. So that is 24 halved to 12 necrotic damage. Now you can take your turn. Okay, and I'm going to heal everyone. Oh, good! With my crazy potion. Oh, Granny, I have a question. Does the doll's voice stay monotone? Does it get um, panicked uh, as the uh, as it keeps repeating? Uh, no, it just whatever I recorded. So it's not monotone because it was just my speaking voice. Okay. I 
hope that the walker doesn't get healed. Uh, no, it does not affect him dead. I was about to okay. just so healing everyone. Okay, Julie says, does not affect him dead. Or construct. Okay. Um, Aww. So you can't so... heal my cannon. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no one can't heal okay. I can do that. Oh, that was terrible for old one 18 health. To everybody. Is that it for you, Granny? Uh, and no, I'm gonna teleport back. To get that resistance. Yep, yep. Okay, you... Okay, you're gonna burn another Blessing of the Night Mother. Remember, you only have a limited number of those, so keep yeah. track of how many you're burning. Um, okay, and with that... This ghoul, right here, is going to go ahead and... Attack the spirit. So he has an 18 AC. That hits. Claw. I need to check Adam if they got healed, but it should be. Did I kill my yellow uh, spirit? Um, is your what is your spirit considered? Oh, your spirit is considered an aberration, so... Yeah, sure. I think so, I think, yeah. I think it does, yeah. So he gets 18 health back. Okay. Yeah, I... And, yeah. It is... Um, I choose who gets healed, so... Right. But so, okay, power. so... The bite hit... And the claw... Missed. Okay. Yeah, I'm... So that is 15 points of damage to the spirit, and the spirit needs to make a con save. Uh, could, could you roll that? I'll do, yep, I can do the. Okay. Spirit needs to make a con save. That is this a is miss. That is a miss, which means the spirit is now paralyzed for one minute. Okay. Okay. And with that, Brian, you're up. Anyone else's screen just go black suddenly? No. Mm, this happens to me quite frequently, though. Just let it be, and if it lasts too long, just reload the page and... Yeah, I'm just, I'm just trying to reloading. Right. Okay. Once you're well, once you're back in, what are you doing there, Brian? Uh, the modifier is pretty high. Maybe I'll get lucky. So I do that. What you doing? There we go. I'm back in now. All right. I'm gonna try and cast Elemental Bane on the big woman. Okay. The big. So I need a con save. Okay. What do you mean I have no available 4th level? I haven't cast anything for 4th level. That is a 15 for the con save. I think that is exactly what she needed. Gosh darn it. Silvery bards. Why are if you out of 4th level? Why the frick are you out of 4th level spell slots? I don't know. I haven't <laughs> used one. I don't know why it's saying you I can't do one. You only have one. What did you upcast? Nothing. Unless it auto upcasted uh uh the heck scorching ray for some reason, but I should have cast that at it second level. It shouldn't unless you told it to. You have no second level spell slots burned though, so it probably did. Yeah, it probably did. So let me go yeah, into your sheet and update that. Yeah, that was uh I did not click for it to do that. Like, what's your spellcasting modifier? My modifier? Uh, his modifier uh, yeah, is an 8. My modifier is an 8. Modifier. Not my modifier, but what's your spellcasting DC? 15? 16. 16. 16? 16. Wait. Oh, so she failed. 16. No, I know. Never mind. So that failed. That failed. Okay. Cool. Yep. So oh. she's no she's no longer resistant to uh to fire. Oh. So what level yeah, is she's Elemental Bane? Uh, oh, it's fourth your... level. 
So just double checking the spell here. Okay, so you're concentrating. Okay, keep that yep. in mind. Um, must succeed on a con save. Wow, you got lucky. She has a high con save. Yeah, I know. The first time the victim target takes damage of the token type, target loses it. Oh, clever. All right. Yeah, I know. And then uh, my cannon is fired, so I'm just going to shoot her again. I like this. I like this. All right. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to do the cone attack again. Okay. Cone attack. So I need more deck saves from the monk, the undead servant next to her, and then her. Or not the under the Imperial Ghoul. Yes. I can, um, yeah. Right. Um, okay. Before, before that happens, um, Ryan, are yeah. you... Let me check. I think you are. Do I need to make the con save again for that thing? Yes. Yes, you're within 30 feet of her. So yeah. you maintain concentration, but you do need to make the con save 21 against the Aura of Death. Nope. That is a miss. So you take... 24 points of necrotic damage. 24. Okay. Okay. And she needs to make a dex save. Yep. I don't know what and then... Do. Nico and the ghoul also need to make a dex save. Yes. Okay. Hold on. Let me double. They should, because they should be in the cone, I think. Thank you so much for helping me figure out my next turn. Or for solving my next turn. Um, yeah, okay, so Nico with the ghoul. And, okay, okay. So, Nico, go ahead and make a dex save. And I will do that for the enemies as well. So you take nothing. Got green. Oh, she auto fails because she's paralyzed. Nice. Yep, and then she'll be taking double the damage. Right, so, yes. Yeah. And that is a seven for the ghoul. All right, that, yeah, both of those fail. Okay, go ahead and roll the fire damage. Nico succeeded though, so he will take nothing. Right. Go ahead and roll go fire up damage. To where the hell the damage is? Here we go. I'm gonna do this. Let me see if will it roll again. Okay. Roll. There we go. Okay. I don't 15. know why. It... Yeah, fifteen, and then I I believe it's double the damage for. An auto. Heliana since yes. first time. So yep. 30. Oh, no, she takes another 2d6. Hold on. Oh, okay. Not double. It just Let me just roll this again. Okay. So 15 for her, and then on top of that... She will also be taking another eight. an extra 8. So 23. Yeah, 23 total. She for is her. not looking... She is not looking good. Um, Said she was near death. I was kind of hoping that would knock her in, but that's great. If you guys have any fire moves... I do. Ghoul. And then and then how much does the ghoul take? Just the 15, right? Yeah, just the 15. Okay. So it only affects her. I wish it was an AoE, that'd be broken. Yeah, Elemental Bane is not an AoE for good reason. <laughs> um, okay, okay. And that is and the that end of your turn. The, yep, that is the end of my turn. Alright. Okay. So how far is uh What's the range on the, uh, um... The Death Aura? Yeah. 30 feet. Okay. You gotta remain within 30 feet to be affected by her. Um... Okay, so this one is going to attack, uh, Wink Helm. Okay. With a bite. A 19 misses. And a claw. 
18 misses. Wonderful. All oh. right. Kyle, you're up. Okay. Who... She is on death's door here. You could easily take her out. Okay. Okay, bro. Yeah, I have one. I have Marshall with that, but that's one maneuver left right there. So. Yes, and remember, if you if you hit, it's automatically a crit. So. Oh boy. Well, we're <laughs> gonna go ahead and reckless attack her, just to get that. Make sure. Just to just to lock in the crit there. Oh yeah, that's crit. that's a crit. That's a crit. Twenty one. 21 hold on let me double check how would you like to kill her you so, kill her in one strike so actually he's gonna do this he, he's just gonna be a total jerk so he's gonna attack again just for fun so like what he's gonna do he's gonna lop off the horns first okay okay and then he's just gonna do it one more time for a nat 20 to end it off so that's oh a, so she's dead no matter what then he is just gonna look at it like you know as she's on the ground he's gonna like i have never loved you and then he's gonna slice her head off yeah, and, just slice her. and as you slice her head off her entire body just turns to ash and she is dead forever Ooh, there's a ghoul now we just have to deal do the cleanup with the ghouls all right what you doing kyle well, I just I did that for Flair, so technically I'm out of stuff. I didn't expect the ghouls, because oh. I used oh, my done? second attack against her, against her. Right, right. You're done. Yeah, I'm done. Actually, okay. Actually, 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 actually. Kyle, uh, can you move it yes. back to me? I want to move. I can move now. Yes. Whoop. Can move now. Just get up and close, and um, okay. as he's running. Oh, like you threw my sword away. Um, yeah, he's just gonna. You know what? Screw. He's just gonna. He's just gonna brace up against these two. Nico should take that one. He's fine. Okay. Anyway, he turn. Finds the sword and take it off. Uh, no, I, I don't care anymore. <laughs> In my turn. Is it okay? Okay. All right. And then. Okay. And you reckless, correct? Correct the mundo. Okay, so that means both of these attacks have advantage. That's a miss. Oh, that was almost a crit. That was almost a crit. Oh, and... that that one hit. That seventeen hit. Oh, yeah, because you dropped your shield. That's right. Yes. Okay. So um, I need you to give me a con save. Another con save. <laughs> 17. Okay, so you succeed, so you're not paralyzed. However, you are raging, so you're going to take half of this. So 21 halved to 10. 10 points of slashing damage. Up. And that is Back. the end of that cool turn. Nico, you're up. Yes, me, Tono. Yes, what are you doing? We're putting the hurt in the dirt. All right, go for it. With a reckless attack. Um, 26 hits. I sure hope it does. Okay. Next attack. Uh, first. Sliding strike. Okay. That is a 16. Meets and beats. Beautiful. He takes... An extra eight, 11 damage. All right. Next attack. Indeed. 
That's a crit. That's a crit. Okay. Go ahead and roll the crit damage. Oops, that's 2d10 plus 2d6 plus strength plus 1 plus rage. Okay. Whoops, you didn't roll. I got it. Hold up, hold up. I got it. I forgot got to type it? slash roll into the into the macro. Yes, that would help. Hey! Holy buckets. Now we're unlocking our potential. <laughs> so... Okay. Wow, that took a lot out of him. Anything else? Another stunning strike. <laughs> okay. Burn it. <laughs> 75 is the bar. Hey, you're trying to beat me. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> that is a failure. He is stunned. Oh, well. Yeah. Uh... Is... Oh, actually, I need to use Flurry Blows here so that it counts. Advantage. Does a 17 hit? Yes. Um, yes, it does. Yes. How on Next earth crit. do you have a plus damage. 10 to hit? Hold, uh, hold on. That, 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 that's, that's considered an auto crit. So go ahead, reroll that. Oh, okay. Oh, wait, no, hold on. Because he's, he's stunned. So is that... Mm-hmm. Attack roll, the crit. Attack rolls against the creature. Oh, no, have advantage. They do not auto crit. They just have advantage. Yeah, okay. So. But yes. I get one more attack roll. Yes, okay. So 15. Please hit. 16 Five. hit. 16 hits. Yes. Because now. Seventeen damage. Okay. Which makes ninety on the turn. Nice. <laughs> you just, he you just is not better. looking. He is not looking great. So these guys have like the same amount of health as us. Yup. I. Yeah. Yup. And I am there's no health. Certified and there, DPS. And there is no Heliana, so you do not have to worry about the Aura of Death anymore. Um, all right, is it the end of your turn? That is. Wink Helm, you're up. Well, my aberration is no longer functional, so I'm going to dispel it. Okay. Because, you know, if it's incapacitated, it's just a body. Right, and it's incapacitated oh. for 10 rounds, so, yeah. It's just like, eh, what's the point of keeping it around? Alright, so, um, so you dispel it as a free action, okay? Right. Um, and then I'm going to... Uh... I'm going to cast, as a bonus action, as a... Oh boy, what level spells do I have? As a... <clears throat> sixth level spell... Ugh. Um... Uh... I'm going to cast... Uh... Uh... A Shardle on Stride. Okay. Okay. Do you know what this does? Yeah, that's the movement buff we talked about. Yep, you're concentrating. Uh -huh. okay. If it also does, that also means I don't take attack of opportunity, and mm. I do a lot of damage to a lot of fire damage to enemies that I move near. Yep. So, 
I am going to go full. Hold on. And I and I currently have because I have Blade Song and a Shuttle on Stride, I have I believe uh seventy feet of movement without burning uh without doing anything else. So do 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 um I have to move in order to do this, so uh da 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 that uh that hits him. Uh, that gets him. That gets both of them. Okay, and... so it, gets all, it gets all three of them. Yep. Now all of them take uh uh four d six fire damage. Okay. So I will go ahead and roll that unless you want to. Um, uh, you got it, or do you want me to roll? Them? Yep, rolling the damage. There is, okay. and there's no save. It just happens. Sixteen okay. damage. The one next to Nico, the one next to Nico bursts into flame. He's dead. All right, now yeah. that, was my, that was my bonus action and my movement. Now, as my uh. I still have a little bit of movement. I'm going to move back to here. Uh, and I am going to... Uh, uh, use. I'm finally going to go whippity-whack. And uh, yep. uh, make a whip attack. Okay. Uh, at advantage. Uh, advantage. Uh, that hits. that's a hit. Damage. Normal or crit? Um, uh, normal. Okay. Five damage. Whoa, so impressive. Uh, uh, bottom or top? Uh, bottom. Okay. Um, then as a, uh, uh, as, a, as the cantrip that goes with it, I'm going to make a, uh, uh, green bl flame blade, uh, I make a second attack with my whip, but it's a green okay. flame blade attack, uh, uh, attack with the whip. Yep. Um. Uh, twenty-seven to hit. Yep. Why are you rolling with? Because I'm still flanking. Oh right. Yep. Twenty-seven hits. Right. Damage. Normal, and then I add the green flame blade damage. Okay, so five and five is ten, and then the green and flame then, blade uh, could be. Um, free. Hold on, let me do this, and then it hits both of them. I'm trying to hit complete previous. Uh, That misses? No, it's part of the same attack. It's oh. part of the same thing. Okay. Like, it's just basically a... Oh, it doesn't... Gotcha. Like, That's right, it doesn't let you do the damage. It doesn't let you do the damage without an attack. Right, okay, so go ahead and right. roll the... It's a... Yep. Uh, no... Uh... So that is 10, plus an additional 30... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, pause, pause, pause. Okay. Um, but that's not exactly how that works. Uh, um. Uh, break that down. Um. Uh, okay, so. 
2d8 on one plus five, and 2d8 on the other. So okay, so okay, I see. I see what you're saying now. So let me deduct the ten first from the regular attack without the spell, and then ten so plus 10 five is to, right. Fifteen to one, is, and then fifteen to the other. Right. Okay. Okay. And then because I still have a little bit of movement left on the start on strike, like not a lot, I'm gonna move just a little bit away. And that will end my turn. Okay. And then fifteen. So <laughs> four. Okay. How was that? That was something. Um that was that was something. Granny, you're up. Okay. Bottom or top? Uh, the top, I think I haven't targeted. Okay. What is it? Uh, sorry. Why do I have this? That's a miss, unfortunately. Um, you shouldn't. Unless you're too far away, what's the range on Guiding Bolt? But I don't think you are. I'll go ahead and, um, go ahead and just roll a d20 plus 10. Yeah, it's 120. 120. That's weird. Yeah, I don't know why it's giving you disadvantage. So. Okay. Uh, one d twenty plus ten, you say? Yes. Because it's five and five, so one d twenty plus ten. Well, that sucks. Yes, that does. That's a miss. Your yeah. spell goes and it, it blows off into a nearby tree. Lights up a tree instead. Tree is glowing. <laughs> What you doing? That's all I'm doing. That's it. That's all you're doing? Okay. With that, the school right here um, is going to attack Kyle. And Kyle is still reckless. So, advantage. Come on. Nope. nope. Not enough. Advantage. Huzzah! No. Oh, you... no. <laughs> two twos. That sucked. All right. That's that. Brian, you're up. All right. Well, let's see. Hello. Load. Okay. Ah, do 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 do. You know what? I feel like hitting multiple things, but not attacking my teammates. So I'm just going to Scorching Ray again. I'll do two at the top one, since it doesn't look like Hold he's on, injured. But... Hold on, but before you cast your spell, let me readjust your frickin' spell slots. Huh? They look right to me. Are they are not? They, are they... Yeah. Are they right now? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Alright. Just checking. Okay. Yeah, so I'll do two on the top one, and then I'll do one on the bottom. Okay, go ahead and roll those. So first, uh, it's probably not going to do anything. That's a miss. Yep, first misses. Second one. Second one hits. All right. You want me to do damage now or later? Later. Just yeah. fire off the attack rolls first. And then the one that's targeting the bottom. bottom. That also that's hit. And then why did it roll damage? Don't you get four of them? Or no, just three of them. Huh? It should be three, I think? Wait. Three rays? Oh, it's like, yeah. Yeah, so... I, only, I only cast it at third level, so. Okay, there so. Or second level, sorry, not third. Yeah, so. It should, it okay. should be three. So 12, and then what is the damage for the second one that hit? Oh, 
Also and 12. Then... Awesome. <laughs> Easy math. <laughs> Easy math for me. I like it. I like it. Also, I'm oh, technically not concentrating anymore because she's dead. So. Oh right, you're not concentrating. So you yeah. so you are free. You are free to concentrate on another spell if you so choose. And you have your flamethrower, which can move 15 feet. Yep. So I'm gonna move him. If it'll okay. let me. Move I him. So it... no. Well, I cannot move him. I'll, I just want to move him so he's like. Just, just I ping guess... where you want to, ping where you want to move him. Like right, hello. You can only want you to. So. No, I know. Measuring. Hello. Do the thing. Okay. Uh... There, yeah, that works. Okay. Did you see that at all? There? Yeah. Yes, yes, right I saw that. Yep. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and then I'll just have him do his flame cone thing. Flame that cone. Could barely reach them, I think. It's 15 foot. Yeah, it'll hit one of them. And then I can angle it up so Bryce doesn't get hit. Um. Yeah, it'll hit one of them. It'll yeah. hit the top one. Yep. That's okay. Yeah. So, so they need to make a saving throw. Yep, I need dex save. Dex save. That is a 16. That succeeds. So is that half or nothing? That's what I'm scrolling up to find. I think it's half. I want to say it's half. It's probably half. Da, 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 da. Um, two uh, or half is much yep, successful. Half. Yes. Okay. So go ahead, roll your damage. Okay. They took nineteen. Nineteen halved to nine. Okay. Yep. Okay. Is that it for you, Brian? That is, in fact, it. Kyle, you're up. You can whackety whack. All right. He is going to go ahead and whack. He is going to use his great sword. Uh, previous roll. I was one can't uh, discard previous. Okay. A reckless attack. Uh, wacky doodles. Whoo! Um, and then he is going to, let's see, I still have my superior already die, might as well burn everything, why the heck not? Wait, where's my, hold on, yeah, I'm gonna use grapple strike, I'm gonna grapple him. Actually, no, Okay, no. bottom or, no, bottom wait, I'm assuming? Wait, no, should I trip him? I'm gonna trip him. Okay, bot bottom, bottom I'm assuming. Bottom, bottom. It says okay. I don't have any left, but I have one and my marshal my marshal adapt. I know I have that one left. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and just use that. Trip attack. Consume. Okay. Oh, he falls prone. Ha ha. Takes that he falls prone. One D eight okay. damage. And now I get to attack with advantage without because he's prone. So no reckless. Yes. That hits. And woo. Maximum damage. Again. I like it. That was that was two max damages. So that's thirty six damage with two two on top of seven. So woo. Okay. Um Okay. Is that it for you, Kyle? Um, no. I am going to second wind. Okay. When you second wind, you can move um, 15 feet without provoking attack of opportunity if you'd like. Oh, no. He's going to stay. I mean, unless actually... Mm, burr, 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 burr. <laughs> no, Kyle's going to stay in front. Yep. So you second wind... 
18. It won't do as much. It won't do as much because max hit, max health has changed, but... I mean, it will help out. It'll something. give me a total right. of 18, so I'll be, uh, what, 88? Yes. Woo. All right, now I am my turn. All righty. Now you end your turn. Things are winding down here. And then... Okay. So this one, who's not looking so great, is going to... Oh wait, he's prone, isn't he? Uh -huh. Yeah, he takes half his movement. He takes half his movement to stand back up. Did you reckless or not? I did. No, no, the first time I did. You so did. yes, I did. Okay, so the first time you did. Okay, so that still counts. So advantage. Ho! That hits. That hits. And... So hard. Don't no don't 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 don't. I'm raging. It's fine. Okay, hey, uh, just checking. He's, 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 got, he's got resistance, so... And okay. that... And that hits. Yes. So, you take... Half of this... 24, half to 12... And half of this... 13, half to 6. And I need a con save from you. Uh, so what? It was, uh, 12 and 6? Yes, 12 and 6. Oh, what'd you get that? I. You just knocked off my my healing there. So. Second win. Yeah, you knocked off yes. my second win. Very nice. Con save. All right. Con save. It is very low, so you probably. Yep. <laughs> All right. You are, not, you are not paralyzed. And yeah, that is that. Nico, you're up. The ghoul in front of you just disintegrated. Oh, Nico, get over here! <laughs> I don't gotta come all the way over there. He's gotta reach that a is... freaking 15 feet, yeah. Yeah, I can punch it from here. Coward. <laughs> but I'm gonna get up. I'm gonna get up in their faces anyway, though. Because <laughs> I want them to attack. Well, if they live, I want them to attack me. We're both. <laughs> we're both raging, boy. <laughs> all right. <laughs> what you doing, Nico? Indeed, we are. You got two ghouls left. One of them's looking. At death's door here. I wonder. How close? How is your, uh. Who's this? Wink Helm. The oh, wizard. Darn it, Wink Helm. Can't do an AoE and just graze them without catching you. I'll be fine. No, you, no, feel free to do it. I'm fine. Well. You can. You, I can. 10 I instead can... of 2 attacks. No, feel free to, uh. Attempt that I can probably negate. I think I can do more damage with my punches anyway. So I'm gonna punch the one that's that's uh, the bottom one that's closer to death. Okay, that hits. Twenty-one damage. Um, twenty-one damage. Hold on, he might be dead. Oh, he's still alive. Holy crap, he's still alive. Stunning okay. strike. Stunning strike, burning another key point. Okay. Indeed. Chapter four, and I can get all of them back if we have another combat before a long rest. With uh, uncanny metabolism. He is stunned. Cool. I'm gonna attack the one the one above then. Someone else can handle him. Damage. Fortune damage to that. Yep. He's going to get the same treatment. Uh, you can only stunning strike once per turn. Oh, really? Yes, that is a new rule. You cannot <laughs> okay. double up on your stuns. <laughs> <laughs> All that, right. that, that is a new rule, so... <laughs> good thing, good thinking, but they nerfed that. Yes. So no stunning strike for you, sir. You already stunned once. All right, taking my key point back. Okay. That's okay. Anything else? Let's see. I've attacked twice now. Yes. This is where the key point belongs. Okay. Dude. 
freaking rage and that hits four attacks every turn so is was extra attack something that you just gave me as part of like the, the tattoo no extra attack comes from your the new monk on arm strike you get an extra attack ah okay so um There's 17 damage and 30 another 30 damage another 30 damage nice Thank Casual you. 65 damage this turn. Okay. Is that it for you, Nico? That is it. All right. Winkhelm, you're up. And I use a fifth level spell for the, for my, uh, right? Um, for what? Uh, you for use my... a sixth level. Sixth level for oh, okay. Shardon's Drive. Okay, I was... Okay, beautiful, beautiful. All right. So, first things first. Um, let me see. I need to double-check what precisely I need to do in order. All right. Uh, movement, I'm going to go... Up, close, okay. Okay. One, burp, bloop. So they both okay. get hit with the the damage, which is just disgusting. Uh, How much damage? Uh. Um, let's see, that's a third level spell. So... 46. 46 damage. 4d6 for th third? No, that should be 3d6. It's 1d6 at third level. But it's a six. And... Right, it's 1d6 at third level, and then add for three. Each level above. Oh, right. Right. you're right, 4d6. You're right, I don't know why. 46 to each of them. Right. Or 46 to each of them. Yes. 16 okay. damage as a start. Okay, hold on, hold on. The one the one that's near death might be dead here. Um, yep, he's dead. Okay. All right. Blows into flame. And 16 okay. damage. Yeah. Him. Okay. And to, uh, I'm going to, uh, Use a whip attack. Yep. Oh, hold on. What is this Pokemon? Yes. Um, let me do this correctly. Yep. Whip attack. Yep. Um, advantage. Do -do -do -do. Uh, sixteen. Does that hit? Yes. Yes, it does. All right. Mm, this is not that impressive. Da uh, do uh, seven damage. Now, I um, the cantrip I'm going to use is going to be yep. mind sliver. Okay. Um, make an eighteen, uh, a DC eighteen intelligence save. That is definitely a failure. Okay. And... Um, the next time he makes a... Uh... The next time there's a, uh... We'll deal with that later. Um, then I'm going to move away and okay. uh, I'm going to move away and uh, as a bonus action yep I'm going to uh, telekinetic mage hand and yep. uh, pull the ghoul uh, I'm going to put a uh, Put the ghoul near Kyle. Okay. 
uh, for the DC 18 strength save. Okay. Uh, that is a 19. Minus D4. Minus a D4. So the 19 turns into a, um, a 15. Okay. Now it gets pushed to uh right by uh down five feet. Okay. All right. Now uh that allows Nico to get into flanking more easily. That will end my turn. Okay. Wait, is flanking Granny, still a thing? you're up. Granny, you're up. I thought flanking wasn't a thing anymore. It's still a thing. I might remove it next campaign because. It's getting to be annoying. <laughs> well, is that like advantage if you're on opposite sides of an opponent? Yes, that's what that means. Oh. <clears throat> okay. Sixteen hits. Go ahead and roll. Oh, radiant damage. Eleven. And he's lit up like a Christmas tree. Alright, that's my turn. Josh is okay. now to the animations that delayed. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, you're both injured. Um, I can't do anything to support hmm. Kyle because I am still copied for me. Oh. Oh yeah, that's right. Oh well. That's yeah, fine. but he, but he, yeah, but he is reckless thing, so it is, cancels out. Okay. Um. Um. Hmm. Okay. And. Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and hit, whoops, it is he. Going to go ahead and hit Kyle. That's a natural one. That's great. Thank goodness he has two attacks. And that's a freaking nothing. Freaking nothing burger. Lovely. Gotta love that. All right. Brian, you have advantage on any attack roll you make against him. Fantastic. Uh, mm. Yeah, I'm just going to Scorching Ray. If one of them doesn't hit, one of them will. Okay, so the first one has advantage. Oh, yeah. First one has advantage. That hits. Second uh -huh. Ray. That hits. All right. Oh, no, excuse me. The first one does not hit. My bad. But the second one does. So second one hits. And your last one? 25. Um, hold on. So it was what? 25... 17 and 21, I think. So, okay, so all three of those hit. Lovely. So go ahead and roll um, <laughs> 60. Go ahead and roll 66. Yeah, he's probably dead. He's most likely dead. We'll, we'll... Go, go ahead and roll just 2d6 three times. He'll probably die within the first hit. We'll see what happens here. Actually, he'll probably die within the second hit. So just go ahead and start rolling 2d6, please. Oh, that's the wrong button. 2d6. Um, how much damage is that? Okay, well, so he's still alive. He's still alive after the first hit. Just barely hanging on to dear life here. And he's dead with the second hit. Describe how the second <laughs> Sculpturing Ray kills him. I had a feeling. <laughs> Alright, yeah. How does the second how does the second scorching ray kill him, Zach? 
Uh, you know what? I'm gonna say it does like a two for one combo. So the first one like hit him in the back, and then the yep. the second one's gonna like smack him in the face, and then I guess the third one I'll just smack him back to the ground, even though he's already dead. All right. Um, and you see, uh, the last ghoul uh, had a crest uh, in its claws. You are now out of initiative. Do I recognize the crest? Um, yeah, it looks a lot like the one that Granny gave to Delora. Ooh. Is this the second part of the uh, seal? Yes, this is the second half of the seal. Yay, we did it. We killed the big bad. That's not the big bad. The big bad is ah, next. Ah, that's the, that's the big bad. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> the big bad is next week, and she's much worse. So, you the party has a choice to make. Oh? Yes. You may either short rest or long rest. There are pros and cons to each of them. Uh huh. If you short rest, short rest functions as normal. Kyle, your health will not be, um, your max will not be put back to normal if you short rest. Mm -hmm. However, if you short rest, um, there is a chance that Akron and the others will still be alive. If you long rest, Akron and the others will be dead, but you will have everything back. Uh, that's an easy decision. Yeah, that's, that's easy. So what you doing? Do I understand? Do, do I know what that decision is when you're saying it's an easy decision? Well, given that we are in a hurry, I would say that we would short rest. Okay, because I was not... I, I do not know what that decision was. Well, okay. Okay. wasn't Nico's dream really urgent? Yes. So I'd say that... I think we should take... A, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Okay. So, um, and as far as short resting goes, I am modifying the short rest rules because you guys are so high level uh, for this particular encounter. Um, you're only allowed to use half of your hit die. So one barbarian die um, for you, Bryce. Uh, one barbarian die for you, Nico, and then half of your fighter die, and then half the fighter, half the hit die for the rest of you. So um, seven because you are level fourteen now. Okay. So, and then everything that comes back on a short rest will come back. And then, um, what I will do, uh, Bryce, for you, don't level up, don't level up Kyle. I will do that manually because the health of the thing is going to get weird. Okay. Um, but the, but, but the rest, the rest of you can, can level up. To Wait, level 14, so that and that is. Makes me level 11. What do I get as a level 11 fighter? Three attacks. Hey, you get your third yeah. fighter attack. You get your third fighter attack, so. I see Nico now gets attack six times. Let's go. Okay. So the rest of you can level up. I will level up Kyle. Um, Kyle, let me know when you're done short resting so I can level you I... up. Properly. So I should have gained a rage back. I should have two rages. Yes. Okay. Okay. Done there, and uh, I um, ooh, 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 I guess there's some things I need to do. Um, part of short rest, uh, arcane recovery. Yep, uh, I get some spell slots to recover. Yep, up to fifth level, so. I didn't use. Mm -hmm. I, I get my first level spell slots back. 
Yep. Okay. And any others? Yep. Uh, now remember, total... even... Yes, now remember, even though you're leveling up, you're not long resting, so you can't re-prepare spells. I'm aware of this, I'm aware of this. Give me a minute. Yep. Up to a total yep. of... Um, level. Do, 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 do. Whenever she, whenever she turned to Ash, did she drop anything? No, she did not drop anything. No. Huh. Okay, so... One, two... I see, I see you just leveled me up. Yep. But you didn't fix the health, though, did you? I did. It says I have 104. Yep. I was at 95. You were at, uh -oh. you were at, you, you were at 95. The, the health reduction still lasts. So you would have had more because you had 125 originally. So you would have been bumped up to like 130-something, but you're at 104. Okay, so I'll get that back. So okay. you're, you're keeping track of how much okay. I would have to get, right? Keeping track of what? Like what my original HP would be if I, when I do long rest, what my new yes. HP would yep. be. So yes. Adam, yes. does the monk eventually gain a third attack? Like, um... nope, nope. Like that's, a, that's a that's a fighter thing, boy. Um, hold on, they might. Well, the monk has changed. The monk has changed. They might. Does the bar um, so was that a fighter level or a barbarian level that's that a gave fighter. three attacks? That's a, that's a level fighter. eleven fighter. Level eleven fighter that gave Bryce the three attacks. Okay. Um, powered strikes. Um, so if you, t yes. Um, I'm not. I can't do it because I don't have the money to cast this. But if could you theoretically cast Hallow in Hell? I'm doing this really oh, you're not you're not going to hell. Oh, okay. Um, well, that is a very interesting theological question. Let me look <laughs> up the hell of spell. But yeah, I don't think monks can. Get, I think that's the only one that actually gets three attacks like that are fighters. I don't. Um, fuse an area, area can blah, 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 blah. Yeah, you can cast Halloween in hell. The demons would be furious, but you can cast out in hell. I knew it, but it's gold, so I can't. Help. Yes. Um, so that, yeah. Um, what are you taking your... Next level in there, Nico. Well, what what was the answer to my question? As far as the extra attack is concerned, yeah. um, so you're what? How many levels of monk are you right now? Eleven. Eleven. Um, eleven. Yeah, you would you would not get an extra attack. The only the only thing you would get is um is an ability score improvement or a feat. Is there an extra attack eventually? Um, I'm just wondering. Um, no, they only get no. no, no, yeah, no, there isn't. There is no. not. Adam is looking at a a new uh, a new the new monk, not the old one. Yeah. So you. So you you got an extra attack when you hit level ten in monk because your flurry of blows allows you just to spend a key point to do three strikes instead of two with flurry of blows. Wait, what? Yes. At level ten. Yes. I've had that the whole time. Yes. And now you know. Now I know. So maybe I can still beat you in, in raw damage output, Bryce. <laughs> this is why you read uh, your you read your stuff. It's not in any of my stuff. Adam is looking it's, at a different stuff than what I have available to me. So I'm going off of what he tells me. It's it, it's a it's a UA thing, yeah. It's 
So get the yes, UA. He, it's not hard to acquire. So I have, yeah, he's now, never told me what where he gets this information from. So yes. So just to be clear, now when you use Floria Blows, you can make three additional strikes instead of two. Yeah, the only thing UA means to me is your analysis. So <laughs> you might know what that is, Bryce. Mm -hmm. If you work just that. <laughs> and with that, that's where we're gonna end the yeah. session. So I know what I'm